what's up you guys so i'm back with another video and today i'm going to show you how i installed and styled this gorgeous hair so first i'm starting off with some braids going straight back like i just got out of jail no i'm joking <laughs> but speaking of gel i'm going to use this eco styler gel to go ahead and um swoop my edges back that way when i put the glue on the glue is more so on my skin of my hairline and not really on the hair and what I'm doing is just brushing it back so I could be prepared to put the stocking cap on. So what I'm gonna do is take my braids and push them up and use the stocking cap to pull it up. And this stocking cap, there's actually two of them, which I didn't know. It came with the wig. As you can see, it's laying really flat. But this is the box that the wig came in from Lou here. And make sure you go check them out. And I do have a discount code for you guys. But their packaging is so cute. I love this silk bag. The hair actually came in this bag and it also came with a rat tail comb, the two wig caps, which you can pick the color closest to your skin color. And it also came with it with an elastic band, I can't talk. And also two extra clips for more security if you need it. And it also came with a thank you note, which is so cute. So this is the gorgeous wig and it comes with three clips or combs in the front and another one in the back so there's a total of four combs along with two adjustable straps and this is basically what the inside of the wig looks like the cap construction and the lace is super soft and transparent so it'll look super natural when you apply it so what i'm going to go ahead and do is actually cut all of that lace off that's on the outside along the hairline of the wig trying not to cut too much of the hair off because hair will come off and this is basically what it looks like after the lace is cut off. So what I'm going to do is take those two adjustable straps in the back and adjust it to my liking. And I'm going to put it on the last loop that's in there because I don't want my wig coming off. I don't know about you, but I want my wig super tight and secure. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and push this stocking cap back and take those clips in the front, the three clips in the front, and basically dig them underneath my braids. So they're pushed right underneath my braids, as you can see. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this got to be glue. And this got to be glue is not gonna take your edges out, ladies. Like, trust me, I wouldn't use it if it would. I already tried it. And it comes off so easily with just water and conditioner. Like, I just put conditioner inside of a water spray bottle and sprayed it on my edges when it was time to take it out. And the wig literally slipped right off. So don't worry, your edges not gonna come out. But I'm just using an old makeup brush to apply a light layer of this got to be glue. And I'm going to use this blow dryer, which is on a low setting in a cool heat, just to basically bond and seal the glue to my skin. And I'm just going to repeat that until the wig is nice and secure. And now that I look crazy, this is my favorite part. I'm going to go ahead and style the wig. So I'm just making my part, and I decided to do a side part. And I'm going to go in with some heat protectant serum. I don't want to use too much of this stuff. I'm going to have everything in the description box below for you guys, so don't worry. And you don't want to use too much um, heat protectant because it can actually end up weighing the hair down and it'll look oily and nasty. So I didn't use too much. Now I'm going to flat iron with this Nano Titanium Baby Bliss Flat Iron, which is highly recommended. Actually, one of my favorite celebrity hairstylists recommended this flat iron to me. So yeah, make sure you guys go get this flat iron too. <laughs> This flat iron is not a paid promotion, I promise. This flat iron is not for me to promote. I just really love it, you guys. I use it on all my wigs. And I'm just going to make sure that my hair is super... I washed this hair already. That's why it's a little poofy. So I'm going to make sure the roots and everything is super flat iron and straight. But I'm going to stop chatting now. And I'm just going to let you guys continue to watch. And I'll be back. So now that my hair is completely straightened and looking good, I'm going to go ahead and use this Mazzani mousse to lay down all those extra flyaways. Um, 
This wig did have a lot of flyaways, but that's okay. I was going to use scissors to cut them, but it's okay. This Mazzani mousse is bomb, and I use this to style my edges as well. I highly recommend you guys, if you're going to style edges on a lace wig, do not use an edge control. It's just going to make it too sloppy and gunky, and the oil is probably going to end up lifting the lace up anyways. So I do recommend you use a mousse instead. So I'm going to go ahead and style my edges, and I'll be back. So now I'm just going to dry my edges just to make sure that, like, you know, they stay like this all day. And I'm using this little powder out of this old makeup palette that I have just to cover the lace and make it look a little more realistic and not so much wiggy-ish, you know. <laughs> and I'm going to use this LA Girl Concealer to go ahead and make my part look a little more realistic as well. And I'm just basically like taking a little tiny bit and going down my part. And look how good that looks. So my wig is basically finished at this point. I went ahead and threw my clothes on and threw my lip gloss on. And I'm just adding my finishing touches to my bang. And I am literally obsessed with this wig, you guys. It's so flowy. As you can see, it's so soft. The hair is just so beautiful. And I'm really feeling this short hair on me. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this short hairstyle. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And make sure you stay tuned for my next upload.